Hello everyone and welcome to In The Metal. Thank you for joining us on another episode of our journey through the world of independent watchmaking, where we talk to some of the most amazing talents that uh, are creating these amazing timepieces uh, that who are alive today. Uh, today is no exception. Today, for me, uh, this guy, uh, the first time I saw one of his watches, it stopped me in my tracks and I realized it's that moment where you go that everything you thought you knew was wrong. And uh, coming from Ireland, I was always of the opinion that, you know, there, there was only these, the, the watches that I knew were the ones that we saw in the, the big fancy jewelers windows in Dublin or places that got there. I did not know about the independent sector or the guys that were behind it, but I, once I discovered it, I realized that this was a completely different world. And uh, I say, if this guy is, it's his fault that I do what I'm doing now. And uh, so we're really looking forward to, inter to having a chat with a true legend, forerunner of the current era of contemporary independent watchmakers. And I don't know, that's my opinion. I wonder if Dan Spitz would agree with me that this guy is pretty special. What do you think, Dan? <laughs> hey, what's up, Johnny boy? Hey, Dan, how are you this evening? <laughs> this afternoon? Morning? <laughs> uh, well, I, I think uh, we all know, if anyone has followed independent watchmaking, uh, that this gentleman um, is the hero of so many, including myself. You know, he, he basically single-handedly uh, wrote what independent or modern-day independent watchmaking is. You know, the, the Antigua is 32 to 33 years ahead of its time. Mm. <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah. which we're still, we're still going to be realizing what that watch did because it changed the roadmap. And not only that, it changed the mindset of people and watchmakers like me who, uh, you know, um, wanted to become independent but didn't know how how can we express our art and our vision in micro mechanics it's it's not a watch that's mass produced by the large companies and he did that he 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 he's a visionary um that's what it takes in music well, well my kind of music in, in my past yeah. uh to break the rules and be a visionary and, and like you said he 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 messed us all up bad <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, we're actually going to come back. We're going to touch on that because I think people like uh, Vianney, Vianney Halter is coming on in one moment. Uh, people like Vianney, they make you realize and make you believe that you can actually operate outside the box. Right. You don't have to conform. You don't have to stay on the rails. And uh, for me, that was one of the things that really, uh, it, it shook me. It made me realize it's a completely different universe here. And uh, man, once I discovered it, it is like a drug. It's addictive. I have been, uh, it has uh, consumed my life over the last 15 years or so. But anyway, this man, his time is precious. And I think it's time we went over to San Juan and welcome Mr. Legend himself, Vianney Halter. Welcome to In The Metal, Vianney. <laughs> hey. What's up, my man? Hey. Hey, guys. How are you? Welcome. It's a pleasure to, to have you come and join us on In The Metal. Uh, I think I've been uh, building up to this moment all, all my life, Vianney. So uh, it's fantastic to welcome you on. Uh, uh, it always great to, to talk to you and uh, so look forward to finding out about what's going on in uh, in the in the world of Vianney Halter then tonight I I, I, I uh, listen to you just uh, before I arrive on the screen and uh, I don't know if I have to stay anymore because it was so much for my <laughs> 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 we to say inspire, to inspire please. another world like this and uh, two guys like you, uh, I don't know if uh, yeah. if it's me, uh, something else. <laughs> we, we try to clean the doo doo off our nose now, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I was a little bit of a fanboy there, you know. <laughs> so I'll uh, 
I'll be here myself. <laughs> well, you know, Vienna, we, we all are. We, we all are a fan of, of what you do, what you've done to us. You've inf in, inflicted diseases upon all of us watchmakers uh, that will last for centuries and centuries. Um, you know, as, as the music I created in the past it broke down many walls and we had to break down many walls to get where we needed to be and show that you didn't have to conform to the norm. So did your, you know, your watchmaking. Um, and, and like I said, you way ahead of its time still today. And that is a true visionary. Um, and it shows all the young watchmakers, we can do what we want because yes, we, we are producing micro mechanical art. It's not, we don't need to tell the time anymore. Let's be real. And, uh, we, we have a phone, you know? Uh, so what you do is create micro mechanical art that is yours. Like a Renoir painting uh, is just your painting is for the wrist. Uh, and this is what, um, collectors are, are, um, our collectors and your collectors are purchasing a piece of you, a piece of your time. Uh, when you when you create a, a classic Jean Vier, um, is is not a watch, is a piece of your life, yeah. on it, it encapsulated that someone must spend some hard earned money to purchase. Spend more, give you extra money because it's not a physical piece. Inside there is is you. Our yeah. purchase piece of you. It's not. It's not fifty little girls making one little pot and then give to the next little girl and make another little pot. Is it's you? And yeah. This is and typically, it's uh, you compare with the painting, but um, uh, I compare more my work with a uh, sculpture, and uh, I, I I use the metal to sculpt inside something uh, coming from me. And uh, at the end is uh, is a me mechanism or uh, is a watch. The time is completely uh, uh, a second, um, um, deuxième, uh, secondary. And uh, the, the, the base, it's before to be enjoyed in my workshop. <laughs> like maybe you, when you, look or you play some music to discover something it's exactly the same for me to work at the bench on the machine and to create something sometimes yes it was not very nice uh, the day after i start again to to improve or to find the way i dream uh, i think it's very similar than your uh, career and uh, what you was doing yeah, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's what I am. I guess I am the only watchmaker who can draw those correlations so that every time we interview somebody, um, I can explain to maybe musicians that are following also that it's art. Uh, we're the true artists. We think very similar. The challenges are the same. Uh, if we were going to be unique, eh? step out of the box after we get our skills. Uh, go to watchmaking school, traditionally trained, go through the, the hard the hard learning of corporate watchmaking or corporate music <laughs> and step out of that box to create masterpieces from from our own mind, singular, our own mind. And then hit the Shaolin and, and go. <laughs> eh? Yeah, but it's always it's always the same. Uh, you never know where uh, your life uh, is uh, taking you or uh, to to um, to uh, push you in where it's complicated. And also, my big problem it was uh, I never focus the money and the and the banknotes. Uh, at the end, I, I focus my time. <laughs> my life every day uh it's not good for the for, for to make money but it's good to to spend your life and uh and i i i, I advise everybody to to focus more their life than uh, than uh, some financial success and, and this we all know uh my friends other watchmakers know that a lot of amazing watchmakers have passed through your shop over the years and so you have given, like others, your love and your skills to pass on to others. Maybe, maybe you pay them, maybe you don't. 
<laughs> what you give the skill and uh, and they move on and they learn from you, they learn from somebody else and hopefully they become independent because independence we know is is, the, is what we what we are, what we need to have and now we can and we all thank you for breaking those doors down and helping and giving your love and your time to other watchmakers as well. We thank you. So, yeah, uh, Vian, it, it is true that, uh, you know, yes, there were independent watchmakers, Sven Anderson, uh, Vincent Calabrese, uh, Michel Parmigiani, if you like, Christophe Tare, were working around before this new age of independent watchmaking. And um, so, but you were among the first of the, the the real avant-garde designers, the, the cr creators of something different. Where did that influence come from? To uh, uh, yeah, but the, 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 I think um, uh, I, I'm happy to have a lot of colleagues uh, like me, independent, uh, not too big, and uh, and um, who stay in the small um, uh, factory and uh, with some uh personal dreams uh but it's clear everybody is different and uh, when you visit some museum uh you it's possible to see everything Pe sculpture painting uh completely um abstract ab abstract abstract yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, or uh, uh like a uh, picture uh, everything is possible, but my my world was also completely another world than the traditional watchmaking. Yeah, I I, I I'm coming from the traditional watchmaking mm -hmm. because I was an uh, an um, watchmaker repairing old things at the bench, and uh, uh, depending of that and on the side of that, I I had my uh, own life. Uh, my own uh, uh, things for music and uh, I remember in the 80s the music was very very powerful I discovered uh, Joy Division and uh, uh, Simple Mind uh, U2 and for, for me these new things uh, op uh, was also one things to uh, explain uh, things from myself and uh, when I uh, when I, I was at the bench, many years after that, uh, when I arrived in Switzerland, um, it was I think exactly the right time to to start to uh, tell what is my world, what is my music, what is my image, mm -hmm. but in my skill and. Uh, I'm not a good writer, I'm not a good uh, musician, uh, even for the sculpture, but uh, in the watchmaking, I'm not so bad. <laughs> and I, and I, like, I like to spend my life to, 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 to tell what was my inspiration, uh, comics, uh, science fiction, music and uh, my music and also the music of my uh, my uh, grand uh, brother my, uh, and this, no, the, the older brother uh, okay. because, uh, black sabbath uh, led zeppelin uh, everything like this was for me very strong and in my okay. work i want it's difficult to know and to translate in this wheel in this clues um uh, something from uh, this uh, journey is inside but it's why at the end now people tell about my uh, my um, creation i'm in avant-garde because uh, it's also that uh, in the new things is not only to make wheels pinion bridges it's also to to explain what you are and what you want to share and uh, 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 where you want to go. And you know, that. you know, VNA, when, when, uh, 
when we started my music, uh, we, we're now called the Big Four. There were four bands, uh, Metallica, Anthrax, yeah. Megadeth, and Slayer. So our music was so different, no one has heard anything similar. Maybe yeah. some, some punk rock, is, you know? So back then it was just heavy metal. All music that was not pop music was heavy metal. Black Sabbath was heavy metal. My brother was in Black Sabbath. He was the bass player for a while. Um, so right when, when, when you created your art, some, there was just watches, right? There was perpetual calendar watch. There was uh, whatever. So they have to make up a new name for you, just like for me. So they call you avant-garde, but it's not. It's, it's you, it's yeah. your brain. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in avant-garde. I, no. I, I'm, I'm right now. Uh, it's uh, the life from now, not for tomorrow or not to... I, I inspire a lot of people and I'm happy uh, to uh, to uh, uh, start, kick-start, mm -hmm. like this, kick-started people to start in this world also, watchmaking, crea creation and something like this. But I, I'm very a very contemporary guy uh, living right now and making things for uh, our uh, time, not for uh, the future. And uh, in the future, I will disappear. It, it will be only for uh, some... Uh, some... Um, uh, come on, dit triste. Uh, sad uh, watchmaker at the bench working on my creation and thinking wow so stupid guys making so complicated watch to repair now and <laughs> who's I, I gonna fix it. who's gonna fix this crap in the future when i'm gone <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it's why also at the beginning i, I made some pieces very delicate and very uh, very difficult for the function and then to to have a nice wear a uh, nice watch working well at the wrist but now when i collect some piece from uh, the beginning 20 years uh, ago uh, i improve the watch to to help the next uh, watchmaker for the next generation uh, right. well, yeah, you know what what we create as artists is a period in our life okay is the few years of development is the same as writing a song. It takes a, a few years sometimes to write very good music. And then you go to the recording studio and you are never finished. You have to have a, a guy in a suit, manager, who says, now you are finished with your art. Otherwise we stay there forever because they pay for everything. <laughs> so same in watchmaking. We don't want the, the creation to leave that first watch. We, here you go. No, I think maybe I wear it. And we give it back. But that, that watch, when you make uh, Antigua, was a period in your life. Then you make Janvier, is a period of your creation, of your life. And we yeah. change. And we change as humans. We change as yeah. artists. As yeah, yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, it, it's exactly, I think it's exactly the same for your music and the, 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 the process, uh, creation process. Yes. Uh, because uh, the classic Janvier was one piece I wanted to realize because I... I, I, I was in the mood to, mm -hmm. to understand his time to explain the top quality or the uh, top inspiration, the top watch uh, it's possible to make. It's the time to realize it. Because I have, I, 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 I'm in the, in the, uh, with the environment and the team. Um, where it's possible to explain that because alone also sometimes it's impossible to reach you have to uh, you have to um, to have some colleagues some people to to uh, to work and to bend your mind mm -hmm. and your uh, vision to uh, to find the right things yeah, bounce and, ideas off of yeah and and yeah. sometimes uh, it, it, it was for this watch it was the time for this one and after that, if I waited, uh, the watch will not appear uh, anymore or never. Uh, at, the, at the end, it's a problem with, uh, with, um, with the time you have to, to create, to work. If it's not too short, 
depending what you are dreaming and depending also what is the next dream. But may maybe if you understand me. Maybe yeah, yeah, absolutely. Maybe between the I think you said your brother-in-law uh, Black Sabbath and also you had Stepan Sapaneva work with you. He is a heavy metal guy. Maybe all this music was playing in your workshop. Yeah. So it, it, so was, you, it, you, was, <laughs> it was uh, it was much making in my workshop uh, like uh, heavy metal between yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. So I had probably and, some and, and sometime uh, with the hand also. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe this play in your mind and uh, one of your watches has some heavy metal in it. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a very nice uh, a, a nice uh, experience and nice time with uh, Stefan because yeah. we we were we were very uh, uh, authentic and uh, himself to uh, to uh, quite narrow in his uh, in his thinking about watchmaking. Now I think with me he, op he opened his oh, yeah. mind uh, a lot. Is, is why I, I like why I tried to show you and mention Stepan's name for for one um, because your influence is not from just for people say for me when yeah. I've been watchmaking school uh, for many many years uh, Wolf Step in Switzerland um, but you change people's mind so they can create their art that is out of the box Stepan is a prime example of a succeeding in independence the biggest thing we can have is independence and now uh, you have escalated helped and created independence at a level is people are finally recognizing we are above we are the top we are the innovators people are finding out what ghost building is right so behind the scenes yeah <laughs> so people like you were building and they come to you for complications the bigger companies so now um not just the young watchmakers but uh, um, collectors are now being aware of the secrets of the past that we had to keep uh, when they sign NDA agreements. Uh, uh, people like Paul Gerber, who also make many complications for other companies. So then when we are now allowed to become independent and I start our own brand and be make our own art, um, we can think out of the box because now people know what we build will last for centuries and centuries and uh, any traditionally trained watchmaker can repair one of your timepieces. They don't have to worry about parts later on, such as the big companies who will only guarantee 20 years of parts. So yeah. it's, 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 be it's better to buy independent is what I try yeah. to show to collect. My, my, my philosophy is typically also uh, based, based on that. Uh, it's important for me to make something uh, and a guy in one century or two, three, four century, uh, whatever, uh, um, whatever. Um, uh, it's important one simple guy with the basic tools uh, in the future will imagine to open the watch to start to repair, to fix it, or to discover what is inside. It's important to, to, to create a piece to, tra uh, to transfer and to, uh, to send this dream for the future. Because with the, with the modern construction, with something like silicium or something like this, at the end, it's no way to survive. Because maybe the technology will disappear, and the technology is coming from an, a big group of people working together in the big factory for uh, the knowledge, for the, the the science, and something like this. Mm -hmm. For me, no. With a basic machine and traditional machine around you, uh, you have to fix the machine, and after that, maybe you will have the possibility to fix the watch. You but know, the watch will be simple, even if he, he looks and he seems uh, very complicated, but it's simple. Yeah, be, because uh, we, we, uh, we know, Vienna, you have done a lot of restoration work. So both you and I are the same. Uh, we know we get a watch that's 150 or 200 years old. We can restore this watch and let, it's brand new again. 
but this silicium, the glue already is shit. It's, it's yep. gone. It's already. It's, it's now. It's, so don't buy into the hype, anybody. Uh, is we stick with traditional mes- methods because they work. They've already been proven, and yep. uh, anyone can fix uh, most of the independents that are out there. Um, we build, we overbuild. We build everything better than it should be because we build it for ourselves. We just happen to offer it for sale. Uh, lady, to you <laughs> for the right yeah. price. <laughs> the, the, the next generation will will, will uh, uh, maybe we all will have a lot of time to to uh, look around because the machine and the, and the other or I don't know maybe some aliens or some uh, new spaces will work for you and produce your uh, food for you and your life for you and your maybe your uh, your uh, family for you but now we are working to create a lot of things to uh, to take your um, attention to understand why in the past our uh, ancestors spent so many time to make uh, so stupid pieces <laughs> <laughs> well also you know what i want to put out there just so anyone that's listening should know um, VNA was not haphazardly just fell into watchmaking. I like to, to, to have the ba- a little bit of the early background of, of watchmakers and where they got where they were. Uh, and I, I know uh, you at a very young age, like 14, I think, you got on a train oh. to, to, yeah, to try to get to a Paris watchmaking school and demand, I am VNA Alta. I want to come here and be a watchmaker at a very young age. Yeah? But I yeah. think I think you had to wait a little bit. So you knew what you wanted to be very very young, which is uh, is is quite astonishing. And you just set your path that you knew that you were a builder and a problem solver and a, a, a wanted to do things with micro mechanics and and you did it. And that's that's incredible. Yeah, is- but yeah, it's it's uh, it's why also sometimes uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, disappointed. Because <laughs> something decided for me my uh, <laughs> my life, <laughs> and uh, at at eleven, at ten or eleven, I collected my first tower clock, and um, and after that it was ah not always uh, for watchmaking uh, between uh, uh, eighteen and uh, twenty two. I spent some time in the nightclub uh, in Paris uh, to discover life, but um, I came back in at the bench to to understand uh, this is um, is more stable to um, than than to go every night uh, to dance in the in the stage <laughs> with a, with completely crazy guy I or wo- woman I met. Uh, but at the end, yes, I don't know why watchmaking, but I was very fascinated uh, by wheels and by the um, by this construction uh, counting time or uh, um, giving some rhythm uh, at your uh, crazy mind or uh, to to um to uh full uh things in your brand and at the end uh clocks with this quiet sound movements wheels moving it yeah. was maybe a uh, key to find a stable things for my life yeah it's very calming sound really isn't it to be in uh a, a, a clockmaker's atelier or a watchmaker's atelier there's always the tick 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 going on yeah four and five different places and it's such a calming effect it just it, it is like stepping into another world yeah and typically also i don't know if i was um fascinated uh, like uh, a lot of different people but not a long time ago, a shop with the watchmaker and a lot of clocks uh, was quite impressive. 
on the wall, full on the wall, uh, at the right time, uh, starting to ring uh, with a lot of different bells. And at the end, when I when I read a story about watchmaking, watchmaker shop for uh, uh, to repair watch and clocks. Uh, people are fascinated by um, fascinating, uh, fascinated uh, by um, uh, by this feeling, the sound of the pendulum, uh, the bells ringing uh, a lot, and and yeah. sometimes uh, stopping and one uh, forgetting. Oh, it was a time ringing the last uh, the last uh, um, uh, hour, and yes. I, I, for me also it was fascinating but not really to inspire my uh, to inspire my um my uh, my career my career i think it was um injected by uh, some um, crazy things uh, in the sky <laughs> now uh, I, i'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but but also i think as as watchmakers um uh, most of us are tool crazy machine crazy it also is a very big part of watchmaking um maybe collectors should understand a little bit is not just the mechanics but uh, what machine a uh, vintage old machine that we need because it's the machines that were made to make the parts are beautiful they are also works of art uh, yeah yeah uh, it's, Sha it's, Shablin 70 is a work of art Asiera, F1 is a work of art, Bowley F1, work yep. of art. So this, I think, uh, enhances us to sit at this machine for 20 hours, or maybe not that much, 10 hours is okay. Because we look, we, we go, Shh. you know, we, we break this balance staff, we have to start again. It's no problem because we look at the Bowley F1 and we go, Ooh, you're a little beautiful machine. I yeah. go again, right? Uh, yeah, sorry exactly. for my accent. It, 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 it's exactly that. It's exactly that. And I, 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 I'm also fascinated by a machine um, um, where it's impossible to understand for what it was created. And I, 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 I bought, uh, and uh, when it's possible, and I, I, I find, I buy again, uh, still buying, machine, so strange, then it's impossible to know uh, for what is is it, and uh, I like it because some people uh, made a crazy things, mm -hmm. completely understandable, and you have to yeah to to find the the way inside the the steel and the brass or some different material uh, to know why people spend time to make that well and, also uh, i think uh, to find a, a, a new machine maybe restore an old machine it inspires us uh creation is very similar to a guitar player um it, even if he is does not need money anymore he's very famous it still keeps buying guitars more guitars more guitar even if he has a favorite guitar like willie nelson has a favorite guitar or, somebody we still buy more guitars we play for a little while because creation comes maybe from this new guitar is the same as a you know a, a new a new machine we get yeah. a a new gear cutter or an accessory that can switch from a jig bora from a hauser to the shablin all of a sudden we get inspired and we, we can make something else Something yeah, new. yeah. Uh, Typically, it's why now I have one room with uh, hundreds, maybe a thousand machines, because uh, it's important to have also, like your library, uh, something in 3D uh, to touch and to get mm -hmm. something from another frontier. Uh, not only because uh, I was uh, an, a good student at, at school, uh, the, the, the best uh, student uh, for my mm -hmm. all uh, uh, teachers uh, mm -hmm. because uh, always yes sir and uh, but people have not time. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to touch some tools in my school in my right. uh, school uh, then uh, then then 
anybody wanted to understand what is it for what it was. But me, yes, I asked. And when the teacher uh, said, uh, oh, I don't know, ah, it was nice. I had uh, <laughs> a way to discover something new. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I like also to get, uh, to get, uh, or uh, to, to take some parts or some uh, shape and architecture of the old machine and strange machine to put in my work. Only to pay tribute of these people spending also some time uh, uh, years ago, century ago, and to remember that uh, I was impressed. And I want to make a watch uh, to be uh, impressed, uh, still impressed, and to share my uh, feeling about that. Yeah, Pe people it's why, say it's why my construction, my style, and my design, it's always uh, not changing because depending different uh, pieces and uh, watch uh, I made, you imagine, oh, you change your style, but people look and say, oh, it's Jan Alter, mm. because something is still inside. Um, not only because it was with rivets, as uh, the, um, the deep space is not with rivets, mm -hmm. but at the end, people recognize the uh, deep space like a uh, Vian Alter creation, even even for uh, for the Opus Three. Uh, typically, in the old watches in this uh, history or in these uh, things, the Opus Three is quite very different. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to put inside this a very strong things for me, uh, completely new. I was not in the in the in the um, co uh, corridor, a narrow corridor. I was completely open, uh, uh, free in the desert to look around. You have nothing to do, except to create a new things. And Opus 3 came from that. It's, yeah, it's well, at the end, it's very nice to uh, to um, to have the possibility to be independent, mm. uh, to be um, free, to uh, to create something like this to share with the other. Because this is just absolutely incredible. I, I, I think uh, I, I don't think it was Opus 3 that was the first piece that I saw. The first piece of yours, Vianney, that I uh, saw was the gold file, the Seven Masters. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was working with mainstream brands. I was learning about the industry. I was learning about the, the, the watch sector. I, I was a complete newcomer to the whole watch industry. And being based in Ireland, for the, the tastes are very... Uh, if you like, reserved and very refined, uh, or not refined, not very sophisticated. So, uh, like, for example, in Ireland, you still cannot buy a McGonagall watch in Ireland. There is no high street store that sells. Just, uh, well, there's different reasons. I've heard different reasons. One reason was because there wasn't enough profit in a McGonagall as there was in, say, a uh, let's say another high-end brand in the same price category so um uh, and you can't also buy a, a you cannot buy a brand new Audemars Pigue in Ireland because there's no authorized dealer so I came from this background where Omega, Tag Heuer, Breitling, Panerai, Rolex, Patek Philippe those were the brands that I was exposed to in Ireland so when I became came into the watch uh, business uh, around 2004 i had never realized that you were working away creating that the antica by that stage was six years old i didn't see it for another few years i think that's because of the internet exp exposure but the first watch that i became aware of uh, was the, the gold file seven masters and i Remember seeing that for the first time and not really knowing what what is this? Is it some kind of a a, a toy or a novelty 
or something because it looked so different to anything else. And I've grown, I, I, I've loved that watch, and I particularly loved the moon phase. How it, so just the, the, the quirkiness of the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. What I think people should understand is back then, at the inception of true modern day independent watchmaking that that VNA was setting forth. It, it wasn't like it is today. It wasn't like, oh, that's incredible. It's amazing, right? VNA. It was like, what yeah. is this? What is this crap? You will never make it like this. It does not look normal. It, maybe you last a year or two, and you come back to work for me. It, it wasn't. They, the big companies looked at independent watchmaking like it, they were this big, and we squash you if you interrupt us. Uh, but now, now, um, because of people like VNA, who's set a course that is different than anyone else. He's enabled so many other people to create what is in their head and show the true independent watchmaking and independence is art. It is micromechanical art. It is a piece of us that uh, a collector can purchase and it's not a consumable. It's not going to go away. It is, you know, you can pass it on into your will to your son and then to his son, it can be repaired forever. But most of all, it really is a true piece of that gentleman's life. It's, it's not just his vision that he sold to a, a company or worked at a company. It's his blood, his sweat, his tears. Like when you when you buy true music from a true musician, it's true. When he gets on stage, he doesn't put on makeup and freaking hairspray and wear fancy clothes. He gets on stage in a t-shirt and in jeans because when he plays, he plays from his heart. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. yeah. So V what VNA does is the same. He is the thrash metal master yeah, of, of flash making. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And and uh, at the end, uh, at the end, I, I I I never wanted to survive or to uh, the durée uh, to to be uh, low, uh, to 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 be a watchmaker very long and to to um to have a, have a job. Yeah. yeah. Uh it was day after day. In my daily time it's to go to work, uh, to find something to have some money to survive. And when I have enough uh, to jump on one new thing to dream, uh, maybe to fix my plane, uh, to uh, uh, to um, disassemble one strange machine and sometimes to uh, now, now with uh, with my experience and my career to uh, to share with the young people fascinating fascinated by uh, this world uh, my my uh, my small uh, experience my small uh, uh, environment and i'm happy also to give at the end the success is to give this energy for this new generation to to understand to be to be independent it's very difficult it's more difficult now right uh, than in my time when i started to be independent 20 years ago or 25 years ago at the end the world was um, more simple uh, less complicated for uh, administration money uh, um, obligation and now now when i see uh, young people starting to to try to be independent sometimes i'm very afraid for them and if it's possible for me to to help, help help them or to 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 do something to to make easier their life i i i i'm i'm spending my energy for that also because it's um, it was easy for me and I think it's less easy for the new generation, even if somebody's like me uh, opened some doors to to understand. This way, it's uh, it's not uh, uh, stupid. It's not uh, an idiot uh, uh, decision or idiot people to to uh, to tell. I will uh, have success. No, the success is to survive and to to do every day what you want to live, uh, to spend time with your family, with your friend, with your colleague, uh, on, at the bench, uh, sometime uh, 
in the musical uh, uh, to to uh, listen music or something like this everything in in life it's important to spend with consciences not only uh, 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 la surface, uh, the surface, uh, not only the light you get from some stupid people uh, uh, want, who want to evolve, to, to blame you. Uh, it's important be before to think about yourself. And if you have some energy, some power, some success, to share with people around uh, like you when you play music at the at the, uh, at the beginning is not uh, to 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 produce some uh, vinyl uh, and for your company will be happy because a lot of money and after to turn around to make concert and on concert to kill your life it's also to share with the people in front of you or the people mm -hmm. listen your music something than it was in your uh, body, in your uh, things to to uh, to put outside, and uh, it, it, it's important it, to be always to be always uh, sincere and true. True to yourself. That's that's uh, you said very well, VNA. Uh, the music that I created or helped create way back when is very similar to what you do. Uh, what I do in my watchmaking as well is we it's really don't care about the money. It, we we need money to eat, yeah. but yeah. it's it's a uh, it's you, what you, what the person gets from us is us. It's not manufactured bullshit. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. It's not manufactured by uh, in the past record company guys in suits. And today, if you purchase one of your watches or one of my timepieces, you get. Me, you get my shirt, me is inside the capsule uh, to be true to ourselves. And I do these shows with Johnny, uh, not because I have to, but because I want to show with the uh, young watchmakers and collectors uh, that we're human and that it, we are true artists giving a piece of us. And it's, it's, not, it's not bullshit. It, no, it's not bullshit. What you get is what you get. You don't yeah. like it, go down the street. There's many other timepieces or there's many other albums to buy, don't buy mine. You want true, you want the real deal, yep. buy, buy VNA or come visit his shop, we'll let you in, maybe. <laughs> maybe yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 yeah, typically, uh, uh, the, 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 the money, it's a tool. Yeah. If you collect a lot of tools and you never use a tool, you are a stupid hassle because you will die before maybe you will know uh, for why i bought this tool and for which things the tool was made i mm -hmm. bought it because uh, uh, it's possible to collect a lot of tools the banknote mm -hmm. but if you don't put this tool in the in the river to 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 continue to have fresh water uh, with inside some life because you participate at these things at this um, uh, new world, um, uh, new uh, uh, new things, and if you have success with that and you don't share that, you are a stupid guy. And typically, you make music, you make a nice music, but you fuck, uh, you you uh, you don't give a fuck for uh, everybody to share that. You close in your room to play your own music and uh, nice, but for yourself is a stupid too. It's important to to open your mind to uh, okay. I'm not so bad for that. It, if it's possible to make something to 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 sell this for a guy dreaming for that, but his life it was completely different. Maybe he had success, he have money, and he discovered in you one another world and other things and at the end he is uh, he is living really not a bullshit life you find on the social media mm. ah, look on my plate what i will eat this uh, <laughs> noon <laughs> 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 yeah 
people looking, yeah, me, tous les jours, uh, every day, I'm looking what is in my plate, and yeah. regularly, I cook myself. And you know what it is, VNA, I think a, a lot of people are very scared to step out of the box and show their art. They can make art and place it on the shelf, but I, I cannot show to somebody because I'm scared what they will say. So somebody once t told me something a long time ago, um, when you create uh, or your art, whatever it may be, that 99.3% of the people will hate your crap. Hate it. It sucks. But that 0.7% is the people that might like you or love you, your stuff, or buy your stuff, or be part of your life. And that's all you need. There's 8, 10 billion people on this planet. You cannot please you cannot please them. So do what you do what God put inside of you to bless the other people. Uh, yeah. And this gen this generation, I think, everybody has their fifteen minutes of fame. Um, yeah, but when, when when me and you started, right, VNA, what did we have? We did not have a free TV station. We did not have a free magazine. Instagram is free magazine, yeah. right? We had to pay. VNA's new watch cost him ten thousand dollars to put an ad in the magazine back back in the old days when we started. But now they have all these tools, VNA. They should use them, uh, but use them wisely. Um, if, if you, you don't know, mind, if I could ask a question. That's because you mentioned VNA uh, a few minutes ago, how, when you were explaining how you like to share and how you like to help and to mentor and to, to, to assist young watchmakers coming up. And you think that, you know, it was easier for you than it is for this new generation. I, I am actually surprised by that because I would have imagined that when you were starting out, there was no precedent. There was nobody before you who was doing what you were doing. And to get your work accepted, I know it didn't happen overnight. It took quite a while for people to appreciate uh exactly what was going on that this was was art and i would say now that uh, younger watchmakers i think they have access to the internet they have access to people like you uh and and many other of the the the, the real geniuses of our time Kari vertelainen is another great sharer of his knowledge and um so I just find it strange that you think you had it easier than modern watchmakers. Do you really think that? Est-ce que c'était plus facile pour toi de, de, de démarrer à partir de zéro oui. par rapport aux, aux horlogers qui démarrent maintenant? Ah, yeah. Tu peux expliquer le truc? Yeah. Ah. You, you never know when, when you start something and uh, when you are doing something. You, you never know what uh, is the best and what is what it was the right way. Uh, like you said, uh, uh, I, I made the uh, watch. Nobody's like it, like 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 it. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end, I was not making watches to find immediately a big uh, a big uh, fan or a big uh, uh, supporter for my yeah. wear. Uh, and at the end, I started to wear uh, a sim uh, simple uh, alone because I was quite independent. It, it was very difficult for me to work uh, uh, with uh, somebody else. Um, I learned to work with somebody else now because I have uh, a team with me. I have an, uh, some colleagues. It's a small team, but. I have around me, follow me now, uh, following me now for uh, many years. Mm -hmm. And but at yeah. the beginning, I started very alone, and you never know. The, my focus was if tomorrow it's possible to wake up uh, by your uh, motivation and your intention without a boss behind you. Uh, uh, put, uh, with the cookie don't want to kicking your ass yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it was the success it was at the beginning it was that and 
I try to work for in my career to work for some uh, some uh, body else, um, but it was at the end not really possible to collaborate. Yes, because it's like uh, a band. Uh, you are the uh, uh, guitarist, um, uh, the guitar, uh, the guy with the guitar or the uh, the drum, and at the end you find together one way to create something. This okay, but to be behind the bench in the big company, it was for me not possible to. Yeah. Be in the, uh, and obviously, uh, VNA. It's for a limited time, you, uh, creators of original art, our brains are wired differently. Other people can have a job and go and have their paycheck. And on the weekend, they go camping in the woods, go back to work on Monday. This, yeah. is, fi this is fine for some people. Yeah, yeah. True, true artists, no. Even in a band, yeah, you write music, you, you get along okay. But after two years, everybody kill each other. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, yeah, the, yeah. it's the same shit, man. It's, it's the same. The same. It's the same. <laughs> it uh, was regularly uh, 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 to fight my uh, employee, or uh, to fight, not myself, the, but my employees to jump on me to mm -hmm. try to fight me because yeah. some it's, different of. Uh, I, I have a better way. Let me show you. Yeah. 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 And it it's was not for same. us. It was the same when I had some boss uh, to 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 imagine and to want to take the boss uh, to explain what is the life when you spend your night uh, in his let to create some peace when he was sleeping uh, or uh, uh, playing the 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 boss uh, in the restaurant with everybody with the customer <laughs> I'm the best making a watch very complicated <laughs> I was on the left and on the bench working for him it's important also to to learn or to live that to understand what is the real life and uh, and when when you work at the end it's important to work very hard to be strong in front of these people uh, who want to live on your uh, on your uh, milk or shoulders your, on your shoulders your mm -hmm. yeah yeah and it's, it, it's true i i think i think vna we, we we when we're young watchmakers we go and we sit out because we want to learn certain things we can't learn somewhere else but yeah for a short period of time and then if we are true independent and true creators, that environment is not healthy for someone like you or someone like me. We, we don't think like them. We think different. We think completely different. But we'll stay there to gain knowledge. And then when it's time to go, I've had enough of that boss. I, 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 I mean, I can't have a boss. I never had a boss. It's not healthy for me. But, yeah. that, but, but I want people who, are yeah. watching, people who are watching, young watchmakers and even collectors to know this is what drives the driven at someone like VNA to wake up early in the morning, have very long days when yeah. something doesn't work out and he can't figure out there's 430 some odd parts in a classic Jean VA, I, I think, uh, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. They, have to, they have to work together. It doesn't work right away the first time. It, it's a dream to begin with in his mind and then a drawing and then physical and tangent. And then it has to work, and he has to go methodically through that and by himself, usually by ourselves. Sometimes we might have somebody to play off of, but usually we don't listen to them anyway because the vision is already implanted in, in VNA's head. So this is what drives the driven, is not to have a boss and be independent. And, and that's what independence is. Yeah. Well, oh, oh. This, I, I had actually wanted to talk about a few of these watches. I, 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 I'm not sure whether I should interrupt the flow of the conversation uh, by going through some of that. I know they've all been talked about many times before, but I have to say the classic Jean Vier, the Antica, uh, the, the interpretations of those functions, of those complications that are unique to yourself, I know that you're inspired by Antide Jean Vier. You're, you've, 
I think you named your atelier uh, after the, the, the manufacturer, uh, Jean Vier. But to, to, so, uh, some people, I don't know if they would get this immediately. What is going on on that watch? And to me, it is just, it's ingenious. So it is the, um, and, and that's only on the, the the front side where you can see, because then you have your, your uh your equinox your equation of time your it, it it's uh profound so it is and um so so i don't know whether to talk about the watches beyond it or just to continue well, the well I, I think i think some of the people that might be listening or watching should know that what you're looking at there and this is coming from me and i'm a watchmaker classically traditionally trained however you want to put it and swiss trained and all that kind of bs crap you're looking at the pinnacle of watchmaking and you're looking at someone sitting here today that is a living legend who's created that from, from his own mind. It's called the equation of time. Yeah. And uh, it's, one of, it's one of the hardest, if not the hardest complication for watchmakers to achieve. It's not a tourbillon, um, even though <laughs> VNA has done and surpassed normal tourbillons with his most recent timepiece. Um, yeah, so, so thank you for your uh, for your um, for your uh, for this explanation of what you yeah, what you see uh, in in this uh, work because it was exactly uh, it was exactly what I want to do uh, uh, inside this piece and uh, and inside the work uh, to create this uh, at the end. A simple piece, a round case, and uh, with a very basic dial. But every details for this watch, it's an, it wa was a push at the limit at uh, at what it was possible for us to make uh, in this time. I wanted to. I, I thought when I realized uh, uh, the classic janvier, I thought it's time to thank anti janvier to inspire me so much uh, to work so hard and so long to reach this position to realize one things at the same value uh, I, I thought if Jean, if anti janvier was uh, still alive uh, it was possible it, it, it will be or it, it will be possible for me to ask an appointment with him to show my work because with that uh, I thought uh, okay I'm enough confident about the quantity of work the quantity of understanding about quality about philosophy about this uh, this uh, work to meet the star or the god <laughs> to ask him if it's okay or not my my uh, my uh, understanding and right now around the world uh, you you heard a lot you heard a lot of um, things about people is a specialist uh, is a, he knows exactly what is the right watch the quality the complication but at the end through the classic janvier I know very a few people um, uh, are in this uh, mm. um, uh, level. Yeah. or level mm. uh, because you read or you heard things about a so stupid, complicated, shitty watch. Mm. Then after that, you imagine if only 0, uh, 0 0.5 uh, or 0 0.7 p, uh, percent of people like my work it's normal and it's nice because i touch only the intelligent and the true uh, uh, cu 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 cultivated, kind of cultivated cultivated or uh, and uh, and uh, knowledgeable people mm -hmm. and uh, at the end with that you faire le tri you sift uh, uh, this world to find the true and the right uh, collector, the right uh, uh, customers, the right colleague, and the right uh, fan 
for uh, to share the well, things. What you know, uh, VNA as watchmakers, and I think I can speak for for many of us who who are accomplished watchmakers who've worked in many restorations for many years, for 20 years. I've been doing this since I'm eight years old. Uh, I'm third generation from my grandfather. But when we see that you have created uh, equation of time this small um, without a team of 40 people and a hundred million dollars, this puts that watch into a whole different perspective that you can dream this watch and yourself create it with very small, small amount of people. That's yep. what everyone has to understand. If they're going to even call you to say how much, then it's not the right customer. Because it, this is not just the timepiece. This is this is, is museum piece that you are lucky to, to, to hold. True. I know you. you yeah. Hey. Because as watchmakers, we if you if you make this piece, you don't even have the time to make one for you. Yeah, right? but uh -huh. when people ask me about the price for this piece, I mm -hmm. answered uh, it's uh, around uh, uh, four thousand hour of work. Mm -hmm. What you imagine the value of four thousand hour of work? It's only that because. Uh, what you want to explain the value or the, the, the price when the guy in front of you never imagine the value he sees the price but the value is not one very consistent things and a lot of things is in, in in life and in the watchmaking it's very uh, disconnected from the price and the value and uh, a lot of people call me to have a price not to have a watch and i recognize immediately the guy yeah. ah, uh, you you have uh, some watches in stock uh, yes uh, <laughs> what you want to what is your mind uh, yes if you have something with a good price ah uh, if you if you are looking for a price it's not the best place <laughs> well, oh, 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 also uh, research and development is is something they don't think about how how many years uh, before we can even make the parts and put them together and then do prototyping and testing it. It's uh, for me is three years here uh, to reimagine the Louis Richard escapement. Oh. I mean, in my new watch, like you, uh, Louis Richard is a very big part of someone I look up to. So he made an escapement to, that he never fit into a wristwatch. So we shrink it down and put it in my wristwatch. So if they have to ask how much it is, no, because there's already three years and of research yes. and development. So if the watches, if your watch is uh, classic Jean Vier, I think is somewhere 600,000. But if this was made by uh, Audemars Piguet, it would be 2 million. Yeah, I, I met, so, I, I met, I met. Uh, and, and, and they would be okay, no problem. Yeah. Deliver, to, deliver to my yacht. Right? Once, yeah. once I met uh, okay. Thierry Stern in the plane, uh, coming back from uh, Singapore, and uh, by chance, it was just sit close uh, close to me, and uh, I had the classic Janvier at my wrist, and it was quite young. He, his father push, uh, pushed him in the business, and um, and it was very nice because he he wanted to see the classic Janvier, and he looked at this, and uh, he said, "Oh, yeah." Uh, <laughs> I'm a young guy in this world. Uh, he appreciated the watch, and he asked me uh, what is the cost. And uh, I said maybe uh, more than ten years ago, fifteen years ago. I said, "Oh, it's uh, it's around five hundred thousand." And he took a small time to answer. With Patek Philippe, it will be one million and a half. Yeah, see? Yeah, this is yeah, but it was Vian Alter. So I think what the message what we're trying to send, and somebody recently told this to me, VNA, is now that you have escalated independent watchmaking and that it is across the globe now, everyone can have a, their own machine shop because everybody can buy used Shablin 70s now and used machines. 25 years ago, we, we, we could not afford them to buy brand new. There was no used ones. I think when they are done and they, if they truly 
uh, have a masterpiece. They think they have a masterpiece or their second or third watch. I think they have to charge more than they think in their head because they undervalue themselves because they're looking at corporate watches at what they cost. Uh, but your, your time and your heart is, is worth more. It yeah, really yeah, is. Yeah. Don't, yeah, cut, yeah. Don't, don't cut independent watchmaking down. Yeah, it's the basic problem you know. for, the, for the young generation and, and, li and li for like me, it was the same at the end. You never imagine the time you spend, the skill you, you reach uh, have, a, have a value. And at the end, you sell because also the problem in life is you have to collect some money. And yeah. when you spend one year to create your uh, own watch, and at the end, uh, maybe one guy uh, who want to make some business on your uh, back um, uh, is uh, trying to, to um, bargain your life. And sometimes when you are young, without people to advise you, to support you, to help you, uh, you agree because you don't know. It's why I, I, I try to support my, um, uh, my colleague, and particularly young colleague, who want to know what is this uh, business, how the business is. I, I have to, to, to answer a request. Uh, if uh, if uh, the guy is uh, um, uh, to uh, to um, uh, to heavy at the end to fight him to to sell the right price, I'm happy to help them because it's important also uh, to to help a young generation to avoid to walk on the so difficult uh, road. I, 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 I used myself. And, and also, do not take any bank loans. Get <laughs> <laughs> no, and no business partners with a suit and a tie. No, because whatever, whatever name you name your business in 10 years, you have to rename your business and start over again. I can guarantee you, because me, me and VNA have seen this story over and over again, where everybody takes a partner because they they just need money at that one time. Oh, and he come and he'll write you a nice big fat check. But yeah, yeah, fifty one percent of business. Me. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, uh, still, I'm still alone, and uh, uh, some people came uh, during my career uh, came to ask for some uh, partnership. But at the end, it was uh, always impossible. And my my instinct um, uh, um, uh, uh, ring me to avoid that, because at the end, even with uh, even with uh, Maximilian, uh, uh, he asked me at the beginning of the, of his uh, company to join uh, him uh, together. But after one year. I understood maybe his target is not mine. He yeah. is, uh, is, um, is a vision of the watchmaking or, or, or of the life is different. Mm -hmm. And if I want to be friend with, with him uh, longer, it will be better <laughs> to avoid a <laughs> partnership. <laughs> this, is, this is the kind of advice that, uh, that can't be bought. And this is what we try to show when we talk to some uh, of the of the incredible living uh, legends that are walking out uh, like VNA. So you should all should really listen with, with very big ears, uh, yeah. not you know not to take those investors and really trust your heart and and what's inside of you to be independent your way. Your way might be not our way. Perhaps you want to make eight thousand dollar watches and make five hundred of them a year. Um, that's not my way. <laughs> um, and that's not VNA's way, uh, and, and many of the people at, at this level of, of what we do. We, we're true to ourselves, and what we uh, create is built 50 times better than anything that, uh, that is mass produced, because we've seen so much when we did restorations that we all, we want to build things, we, we've learned what's wrong, and we don't want those in our timepieces. We want them to last for many, many generations where anyone with a competent, traditionally trained watchmaking background can repair, can make a new wheel, 
if a, if a wheel or a gear or a pinion or a lever breaks in, in even in, in, uh, in a Janvier, uh, it can be repaired. We don't need to go to a parts bin and take a part and put it in. It, it can be repaired. Believe it or yeah. not, any, any of VNA's watches uh, can fall upon any, any of the master's desks and be brought back to brand new for 400 years from now. Yep. We haven't even got to the deep space turbulence yet. We're <laughs> well over the hour. So I know, yeah. Fian, I really appreciate you staying on with us a little bit longer than I promised you. But, you know, part of what we're doing in the metal uh, is about our the, the people who are watching us. And we've got some questions uh, from uh, some of those people. And I, I thought Captain Forrest had a fantastic question to you. Was it a part or a complication that was difficult or a pain to design, and when you finally got it, it was a euphoric moment. Ah, uh, very complicated question because uh, it's not yeah. my first uh, uh, nightmare. Uh, I, I, I had not only one nightmare in the watchmaking. Uh, um, le pire, the worst. Uh, it's difficult to, to remember the worst because the human brain forget quickly the worst for the better. Yeah. But I remember with, uh, with um, at, at the beginning, maybe ah, one thing very bad it was also for the for the for the opus tree i wanted to create the the mechanism for that and i had uh, i had a lot of different uh ideas for that but i started in different uh so many different ways to reach some uh, success in the function, then it was um, a very, very long uh, uh, parkour, uh, a long process. process. And um, the, I, I worked on that for one year for two colleagues, with two colleagues all the time, trying this way, uh, making prototype, but uh, a, a model, big model at the five uh, time bigger, uh, and jumping for another one because each step was one uh, one path to go for a better things. Mm. And when I thought, okay, now we find the light uh, inside the tunnel or we saw some light inside the tunnel and it will it will be uh, to reach something uh, it was one year after working every day for that um, the the board direction of uh, of uh, Harry Winston said Diana stop it and I was just stop in the way to reach some solution to reach the perfect movement and the perfect uh, construction for this piece. And at the end, it was a nightmare for uh, to develop. Yeah. And when it was at the end, the time to to wake up and to uh, to go outside this night nightmare. Uh, it was, uh, uh, very deep in my bed. <laughs> Voila! Okay, yeah. <laughs> Too late. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I get you. I, I think uh, it, it, it's been fantastic that you have joined us. Uh, Pietro had a question. Um, he was, do, do you see more attention now to the independence that compared to 10 years ago? I, I I I think if, even if I say if I said no si j'ai dit if I say um, 
uh, it was easier for in uh, in the past to start to be uh, independent uh, than now yeah um one things to balance the problem for the new generation to start with the complicated world it's uh i think it's easier at the end now to reach the right people mm -hmm. or to to be in enough in uh, in light to uh, take attention for from the other and also i think the new generation of the rich people is getting some knowledge and some mm -hmm. i think intelligence to mm -hmm. understand it's uh, it's possible to find something else maybe yeah. by the work and by my colleagues uh, like carrie uh, like uh, stepan like uh, uh, vincent calabres uh, sven uh, uh, we we prepare a new road to for the new generation to, to explain and to find some under, understanding mm. uh, to sell their work. Exactly, I, exactly, exactly what we're doing here, VNA, which yeah. is to yeah. to to use this medium to show uh, the the collectors really from one watchmaker to another watchmaker what it takes to be you or to be me and, yeah. uh, and not just the, the training we have to explain that we go to school for an apprentice for 10 15 years and then the struggles of being independent but more of a uh, uh, the perseverance to create something that's so complicated and how long yeah. it takes because yeah. like you said earlier they just look at it like they look at a rolex oh how much hey. And maybe you oh, take a few yeah. thousand dollars off, uh, no way. a little cheaper, right? Yeah, but no, no, no way. They're, they're, they're being educated now. The complexity could be because on Instagram, the younger watchmakers show when they start. I start here, I make the main plate. I start yeah. here, I make the bridge. So in the past, when me and you started, we they never saw that. They never understood the complexity of what it meant to be independent. Yeah, yeah, but and, and the money, does the money to start, yeah. the, the supplies, the machines, the, the risk to stop your other job if you had one. And, yeah. and But so, now, yeah. now I think, uh, uh, and, and, and it's why also I, I, I'm, uh, I'm happy to participate uh, uh, to, um, uh, to your um, uh, live uh, and for somebody else also. It's on. Uh, it's not to try uh, to convince people to buy my work. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have to convince them. If people will be enough open-minded, uh, it will come once uh, yeah. and will find in my young uh, colleagues things where the value and some dream will be very uh, interesting. To spend money, and uh, and I, I want to support also uh, this uh, side of the of this uh, world, not only to 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 drain or to to drain people uh, for our business is is okay is one business, but is not only a business. When you buy Rolex, it's a business. Uh, yeah, I start to dream and start to dream the 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 Betty Boop uh, you never will have in your hands. Uh, yeah. If you want to dream yourself, look around and further. And I try to open some doors and some windows to uh, to open uh, some mind, uh, some mind. And, uh, and if I if I have success to to help for a customer to buy a watch for a, one guy I support uh, I'm supporting uh, in his business I win uh, yeah. even this guy don't buy my work if he buys the work of my colleagues like uh, Carrie I win because Carrie it's in the same world than me. He's working at the bench. He's working with a uh, with a, a co co convincing uh, convincing things, and yeah. 
And at the end, if one customer coming uh, to me asking what you advise me for a next watch, and if he don't, if he never, if he never buy, if he never bought uh, one carry, I advise immediately spend spend your money in this uh, in this uh, small workshop and and uh, and meet this guy. And uh, if he if carry survive, I will survive. And yeah. I will try yeah. to give some energy for a new, an, another one to survive too. It's an, an ecosystem. It's nearly like an, exactly, an, exactly. The, the Everybody end. around the world uh, want to yes. kill our uh, our world uh, Earth. Yeah. But I try in my uh, possibility to um, to change some behavior to uh, to invest for the future and for uh, something nice not for the for the stupid consumption or uh, for the um uh, come on, uh, stream uh, mass consumption mainstream uh, to uh, to put away everything you collect and you you have in your life because after you and during your life uh, nobody will remember what you you do uh, what yeah. you have. Well, I think uh, the way I started this out is 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 really w we've come full circle because it shows once again, you know, a legendary walking watchmaker has given back the love. That's what it's all about. It's creating creating the art that's in him. It, it has yeah. to get out. Okay, yeah, yeah. And the artist, it, it, what's in us is, is is busting out. It has to come out. So yeah. VNA has had many watchmakers in his workshop that he's paid, but really they're getting a paid education and they've become independent. He's giving his love back to the world through tangible art and, and he sends people to, to somebody else who's another independent. We all, we all try to do this the same way because we're not selfish. That's not what it's about. It, it all comes back around. It really does. Yeah. It all comes back. It's 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 the base. It's a, I think it's not the base of our work. It's a base of life. Uh, if you don't if you don't want to share or, uh, or to to uh, uh, to communicate or to exchange uh, while you are alive, uh, go to die and maybe after that <laughs> we we'll change something. And, 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 and for example, when we are uh, working in my uh, workshop for some uh, watch, uh, for some watches, uh, we never ask about uh, the work from another watchmaker uh, about the deep space. We, we, tell, we, we tell about the customer and the watch have the name of the customer um, about uh, Frank, uh, the hands uh you are finished or uh, something like this because we are working for some some somebody we are not working for the watch and at the end we start at the beginning of the of the order to spend life and to share with the customer what it will be when we exchange the work and the cash or the money and <laughs> It's on all, all, all step. It's in the story, and yeah. after that also, after that, the, the customer remember. Ah, oh, yeah, uh, it was this uh, things. I saw that you called me. Uh, I met you. I visited your uh, workshop. You visited mm -hmm. me in my house, and I, I asked also what he's doing in his life because oh, yeah. it is important also to know who is it. And what he's doing, what is his mind, what is his philosophy? Because it's important also for me to work on his piece. And typically, uh, I, I made, I'm making also some work for uh, uh, Jewish people, Jewish, Jewish people. Mm -hmm. I, I, I took um, attention for his life to know if the watch will be uh, created, uh, created with his philosophy. And I wanted to put more than only, okay, he has a lot of money and I will um, take mm -hmm. a lot of money 
very easy and quickly. No, I wanted to 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 link or to understand deeper what you wanted to 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 link and what you wanted to buy one piece in my work, uh, yeah. one piece for me in my work, and always it's one part of my um, mind and my uh, motivation. And this is work for somebody else. This is what absolutely independent watchmaking is, and what it separates true independent watchmaking uh, from everything else. Because in the corporate world, it's just like selling cars. There's a front man with a suit and a tie, and he's a salesman, and he's just trying to get your wallet out of your pocket. And it really isn't with us. We really we can find people to buy our watches. It's not very difficult because we're not looking to make that many of them. It's more about the connection and the love and challenging us. Like, and knowing uh, that your that your work is appreciated, that it's not just uh, something that is bought to be collected and put away, but that someone who's buying it understands what has gone into that watch, how much of you, how much of Vianney out there is in that watch. And yes. when they take that watch away from your atelier, that they are taking a piece of your life away with them because you have invested that time, that love, that passion in creating that little masterpiece. For yeah, some, you yeah, know. yeah, and, and yeah. I, I'm very happy also to share that with uh, my customers. Uh, typically, yesterday, uh, no, no, this, this it was this morning or yesterday morning. I uh, don't know. Uh, yesterday morning, I arrive at my uh, at my workshop. Um, WhatsApp was connected. I got a message from one customer, uh, US customer, uh, just to say hello, Vianne. Uh, it was it was to say hi uh, and to to show you I'm wearing your watch. I'm very happy. <laughs> hey, that's you know, it. killer. Yeah. That's a nice way to start your day. But listen, we have gone over one hour and a half, Diana, and I know it's past your bedtime. So I would love to think that someday in the future we would be able to welcome you back for another conversation because we didn't even talk about deep space. And uh, so sometime we would like to, to do that. So um, I just want to thank you so much because... It's your fault that I am doing this because it was, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's why I have no friends anymore. Because <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey man, I would do it. I would not change a thing. So, um, so I, I, I just want to thank you very much uh, personally for doing me this great favor, this great honor of coming on and uh, and talking with us. I'm sure Dan, you would feel the, the same. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reiterate the same thing. Um, you know, I, I went to watchmaking school here, watchmaking school in Switzerland, and apprenticed, and then headed up Chopard complications and all that. But that doesn't mean shit because once I saw the Antigua, I said, "There's the thrash metal dude of independent watchmaking. He's he's he, what is that? Holy shit! I want to start my own watch. I, I, how do I go about?" making my own main plates, my own bridges, at a time when it was impossible. So fast forward many years, and here I am finally uh, making my own timepiece, and it's all because of you. Uh, I, don't know whether, I don't know whether to curse you or hug you. <laughs> Thank you for you both, and uh, so motivated, so powerful, and um, I, I have only one thing to say. Live long and Live prosper. Long and prosper. Fantastic. <laughs> Viani, hang about for a couple of minutes after I've closed this off because we want to say thank you. And uh, so, but to everybody else who has watched uh, this fantastic episode of In the Metal, uh, we're, we're so lucky that we have these extraordinary talents coming and uh, sh sharing their time. Their evenings because this is eating late into the evening in Central European time. So um, well, I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank everybody for their questions. I'm sorry that we didn't get answering or asking all of them. 
Uh, there were so many tonight, but it's <laughs> so we got we got to get <laughs> from other day because we get more questions to ask them. So everybody, thank you very much. As Vianney says, live long and prosper. We will see you next time on In the Metal. We'll speak in a moment, Vianney. Thank you.